Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This is a tutorial about object to path. You can never spell. This is a pretty neat little feature. Okay, we all know how to do the text on path. Well, sometimes it kind of leaves a jagged little line um, that our letters follow and they're not real even. Well, this little feature Come on. Okay, so you <clears throat> get out your path. Let's say you want um, your words to follow this kind of an arc. So you pull this shape from your shape library. You type in your word. Come up here to effects. Object on path. I click auto preview. You see what it just did there. So let's come in here. We're going to set our offset to about... Oh, let's do 2.75 and our alignment we're going to do bottom. Okay, so that's still too much. Let's rock it over there. That look about even? Yeah, that looks okay. All right. So let's click OK. All right. So now, as you see, as I <clears throat> move over them, their colors are different because they're not joined. And that's a good thing because we want another word. <clears throat> We're going to put hello, friend. So now when you do your object on path, you can only have two items. So I'm going to have to do it like that. You see how I did it? I'm not capturing hello, but I'm capturing the oval and the friend. Come up here to effects, object on path, auto preview. We want to do the top, okay, but we're going to do reverse path because that will bring it to the bottom, all right? So remember, reverse path, of course, we're going to follow the path orientation. And let's do 2.50. Oh, oh, I can't even type. 2.50. Enter. And then we'll just back it up until it looks about even. Okay, that looks good. All right, so let's click OK. And I clicked Remove Path on my last one so that it would pull that oval out of there. But you can also, you know, if it doesn't, if you forget to do it, you can just remove it on your own when you're done. All right, so there you go. That's how you do that. Um, it's really awesome because these are nice and shaped right to that. So let's say you have a cutout. Um, your card, you can fit those right to that. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Have a great day, guys.